Welcome to the global defense battle. The Leopard 2A7, developed by Germany's Krauss Maffei Wegmann, is a modern main battle tank designed for both urban and traditional warfare. It was introduced in 2014 as an upgraded version of the Leopard 2 series, focusing on improved protection, firepower, and mobility. Its primary purpose is to engage enemy forces in open fields and urban combat zones while offering maximum protection to the crew. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams, manufactured by General Dynamics Land Systems, is the United States Army's primary main battle tank. It was inducted in 1992 as an improved version of the M1 Abrams series. The tank was developed to provide unmatched survivability, firepower, and mobility in modern warfare scenarios. The M1A2 excels in high-intensity combat environments, including both open plains and dense urban landscapes. And today, we will compare both of these tanks, Germany's Leopard 2A7 versus United States M1A2 Abrams. So, let's start. Talking about the design and dimensions first, the Leopard 2A7 features a sleek and angular design optimized for both ballistic protection and battlefield mobility. Its low-profile turret reduces visibility, while the modular composite armor enhances protection against anti-tank weapons and explosive devices. The tank follows a standard Western MBT layout, with the driver positioned at the front, the commander and gunner in the turret, and the engine compartment at the rear. It operates with a four-member crew, commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The crew compartment is designed with enhanced ergonomics to ensure comfort during long missions, including shock-absorbing seats and improved climate control systems. In terms of dimensions, the Leopard 2A7 measures approximately 10.97 meters in length, 3.76 meters in width, and 3.03 meters in height. Its combat weight is around 64 tons, making it one of the heavier tanks in service. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams has a rugged and heavily armored design, prioritizing crew protection and survivability. Its angular turret and reinforced hull provide maximum defense against kinetic energy penetrators and explosive threats. Like the Leopard 2A7, the M1A2 follows a conventional MBT layout, with the driver seated at the front center, while the commander, gunner, and loader occupy the turret. It also operates with a four-member crew, commander, gunner, loader, and driver. The crew compartment is fitted with shock-resistant seating, advanced fire suppression systems, and climate control mechanisms, ensuring crew safety and comfort during extended operations. It is 9.77 meters long, 3.66 meters wide and 2.44 meters high. Its weight is approximately 67.6 tons, making it slightly heavier than the Leopard 2A7. Overall, both tanks share a similar crew layout and ergonomic design, prioritizing crew comfort and operational efficiency. The Leopard 2A7 emphasizes a balanced and modular design with a slightly larger frame, while the M1A2 Abrams focuses on heavy armor and reinforced structures, Talking about engine and performance, the Leopard 2A7 is powered by AMT UMB8 73KA501 turbocharged diesel engine, which delivers an impressive 1,500 horsepower. This 12-cylinder, liquid-cooled engine is known for its reliability, fuel efficiency, and high torque output, making it suitable for both open terrain and urban warfare. The tank features an advanced torsion bar suspension system that provides excellent stability and shock absorption, allowing it to traverse rough terrain smoothly. The Leopard 2A7 can achieve a maximum speed of 70 km per hour on paved roads and around 50 km per hour off-road. It has an operational range of approximately 450 km on a full tank of fuel. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams uses a Honeywell AGT 1500 gas turbine engine, capable of producing 1,500 horsepower. This multi-fuel engine can operate on diesel, kerosene, or even aviation fuel, offering logistical flexibility in combat zones. Gas turbine engines are known for their smooth operation and rapid acceleration, but they tend to consume more fuel compared to diesel engines. The tank is equipped with a hydropneumatic suspension system, which offers superior shock absorption and smoother handling over uneven surfaces. The M1A2 Abrams can reach a maximum speed of 72 km per hour on paved roads and around 48 km per hour off-road. Its operational range is approximately 426 km on a full tank of fuel, slightly lower than the Leopard 2A7. Overall, both tanks are highly mobile and capable of keeping pace with infantry units, showcasing their ability to perform effectively in dynamic battlefield conditions. Talking about the weapons and armaments, 
The Leopard 2A7 is equipped with a 120mm rainmetal L55 smoothbore main gun, an upgraded version of the earlier L44 gun. This longer barrel increases muzzle velocity, improving accuracy and armor penetration capabilities over long distances. The main gun can fire a variety of ammunition types, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo rounds for penetrating heavy armor, high-explosive anti-tank rounds for engaging soft targets and fortifications, and programmable high-explosive rounds for precise strikes against infantry or lightly armored vehicles. The gun has a rate of fire of approximately 6 to 10 rounds per minute, depending on the crew's efficiency and battlefield conditions. For secondary armament, the Leopard 2A7 features a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, mounted alongside the main gun, and an additional 7.62mm MG3 machine gun on the turret roof for anti-infantry and anti-aircraft roles. Some versions are also equipped with a .50 caliber heavy machine gun for extra firepower. The tank's fire control system includes advanced stabilization, thermal imaging, and laser rangefinders, ensuring high accuracy even when firing on the move. The Leopard 2A7's main gun is highly capable of penetrating advanced enemy armor, making it a formidable force in armored combat. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams is armed with a 120mm M256 smoothbore gun, derived from the German rainmetal L44. While slightly shorter than the Leopard's L55, it remains highly effective due to its advanced ammunition compatibility and fire control system. The main gun can fire APF-SDS rounds for maximum armor penetration, heat rounds for fortified targets, and M1028 canister rounds designed for close-quarters combat against infantry. Its rate of fire is also around 6 to 10 rounds per minute, depending on the loader speed and combat scenario. The M1A2 Abrams comes with a .50 caliber M2HB heavy machine gun mounted on the commander's hatch, a 7.62mm M2-40 coaxial machine gun paired with the main gun, and another 7.62mm M2-40 machine gun mounted near the loader's hatch. This combination provides excellent anti-infantry and anti-light vehicle capabilities. The tank also features an advanced fire control system with thermal imaging, laser rangefinders, and independent sights for the commander and gunner, enabling target tracking and firing on the move with high precision. Its main gun is fully capable of penetrating modern enemy armor, ensuring battlefield dominance in tank versus tank engagements. Overall, the Leopard 2A7 slightly edges ahead in range and muzzle velocity, while the M1A2 Abrams excels in ammunition versatility and target acquisition technology. Regarding armor and protection, the Leopard 2A7 is equipped with advanced modular composite armor, which includes high-hardness steel, tungsten, and ceramic composites. The tank's armor is specifically designed to resist kinetic energy penetrators, high-explosive anti-tank rounds, and improvised explosive devices. While the exact thickness of the armor remains classified, it is believed to provide protection equivalent to over 1,500 mm of rolled homogeneous armor against kinetic threats. The front glassy plate and turret face are heavily reinforced, offering superior defense against direct hits. For additional survivability, the Leopard 2A7 is integrated with the Trophy Active Protection System in some variants, capable of intercepting incoming anti-tank missiles and rocket-propelled grenades before they hit the tank. It also features advanced nuclear, biological, and chemical protection systems, ensuring crew safety in hazardous environments. The tank's spall liners minimize internal damage from penetrations, enhancing crew survivability. In terms of visibility, the Leopard 2A7 offers excellent situational awareness through advanced periscopes, thermal imaging cameras, and 360-degree commander panoramic sights. The driver's station includes wide-angle periscopes and a rear-view camera, allowing safe maneuvering even in confined spaces. The commander's independent thermal viewer ensures the commander can monitor the battlefield independently of the gunner, providing a tactical advantage. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams features Chobham composite armor, further enhanced with depleted uranium layers in key areas, such as the turret face and frontal glassy plate. This combination offers exceptional protection against kinetic energy penetrators and chemical energy warheads. The armor thickness is classified, but estimates suggest the protection is equivalent to over 1,500 mm of our HA against kinetic threats. The reactive armor tiles on some versions offer extra resistance against explosive threats, the Abrams also features an active protection system, with newer variants integrating systems like Trophy APS. These systems detect, track, and intercept incoming anti-tank missiles and are PGS in real time. 
Like the Leopard 2A7, the M1A2 includes NBC protection systems and spall liners to reduce crew casualties in case of internal explosions. Visibility from the M1A2 Abrams is excellent thanks to its wide periscopes, advanced thermal imaging cameras, and independent commander's panoramic sight. The driver's station offers three periscopes and rearview cameras, allowing for precise navigation. The commander's independent thermal viewer enables the commander to identify and prioritize targets independently of the gunner, ensuring quick battlefield response. If we see about situational awareness, the Leopard 2A7 excels in situational awareness thanks to its advanced sensor suite and integrated battlefield management systems. The tank is equipped with thermal imaging cameras, laser rangefinders, panoramic sights, and high-resolution day-slash-night vision systems. The commander's independent thermal viewer allows the commander to scan the battlefield independently of the gunner, enabling simultaneous target detection and engagement. Additionally, the hunter-killer capability allows the commander to designate targets for the gunner without interrupting ongoing operations. The Leopard 2A7 is fully capable of participating in network-centric warfare. It is integrated with the IFIS, which enables real-time data sharing with other units on the battlefield. Through this system, the tank can exchange information on enemy positions, friendlies, and terrain data with command centers, drones, and other armored vehicles. This allows commanders to make informed tactical decisions and ensures better coordination between units. The digital communication systems on board further enhance the tank's ability to operate effectively in joint operations with allied forces. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams also boasts exceptional situational awareness capabilities, supported by a suite of sensors, cameras, and advanced fire control systems. It includes thermal imaging sites, laser rangefinders, and panoramic vision systems for both the commander and the gunner. Like the Leopard 2A7, the commander's independent thermal viewer allows for independent surveillance and targeting, even while the main gunner is locked on a separate target. The hunter-killer capability enables rapid target acquisition and engagement. The M1A2 Abrams is a key player in network-centric warfare due to its integration with the Blue Force tracking system and Joint Battle Command platform. These systems enable the tank to share real-time information with friendly forces, including enemy positions, battlefield updates, and mission objectives. The digital connectivity ensures the tank operates seamlessly with infantry, artillery, air support, and other armored units. This level of integration allows the M1A2 to function not just as a combat vehicle but as a mobile battlefield command node in larger military operations. Regarding cost of the Leopard 2A7, while the exact development cost remains undisclosed, estimates suggest it exceeded approximately $1.1 billion due to the extensive research, testing, and integration of modern combat systems. The production cost per Leopard 2A7 is estimated to be around $16 to $19 million per unit, depending on customization, equipment configuration, and export agreements. On the other hand, the base M1 Abrams series had an initial development cost of around $3 billion. The production cost per M1A2 Abrams is estimated to be approximately $9 to $12 million per unit, depending on the variant and specific systems installed. Upgraded versions, such as the M1A2 SEP V3, cost closer to $20 million per unit due to the integration of advanced active protection systems, upgraded sensors, and enhanced communication equipment. As of now, there are approximately 150 to 200 Leopard 2A7 tanks in active service across different nations, with Germany being the primary operator. The German Bundeswehr operates about 104 Leopard tanks, with plans to upgrade older Leopard 2 variants to the 2A7 standard in the coming years. Several countries, including Hungary, Qatar, Norway, and Denmark, have placed orders for the Leopard 2A7. Qatar operates 62 units, while Hungary ordered 44 units, and deliveries are ongoing. Denmark has integrated around 44 units into its military fleet. On the other hand, the M1A2 Abrams is one of the most widely deployed main battle tanks globally. The United States Army operates approximately 1,200 active M1A2 Abrams tanks, with several thousand more in reserve or mothballed storage. Internationally, the M1A2 Abrams has been exported to multiple allies, including Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Egypt, Australia, Morocco, and Poland. Saudi Arabia operates over 370 units, Kuwait has 218 units, and Australia fields around 59 tanks. Additionally, Poland has signed contracts to receive 250 M1A September 2nd V3 tanks, with deliveries scheduled over the next few years. In summary, the Leopard 2A7 and the M1A2 Abrams represent the pinnacle of modern main battle tank technology, 
each tailored to meet the specific needs of their respective militaries. Which tank do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons, see you in the next video.